In the energy quadrant, taking a look at the March natural gas futures, which had a little bit of a breakdown. Natural gas broke down from its previous range on Monday and still has not recovered. Today, despite a gap open at the open, natural gas at its lowest price level since May 5th of last year and finished negative on the day again. That's two negative sessions in the last four. And natural gas is showing some basing price action, but not any recovery at all yet. When you look at the low, it was down 3.14%. That was two spot 034. Uh, the high was up 3.42% at two spot 168. We finished the day, however, down more than 2%. National demand picture overall, it's likely to be very light in the next seven days. There is some rain and snow coming over the next week or so, but with mild highs from the 40s to the 50s over the northern U.S., besides some small, cooler areas that won't get much lower than the 30s. The southern U.S. will be mild with highs from the 50s to 70s, so no heat and no air conditioning. Only the northeast will be hit with a cold shot this weekend, putting their highs between 20 degrees and 40 degrees and their lows at night between 10 degrees and 30 degrees. But despite this, nationally, it's going to remain warmer than normal for a week or so. You combine that with the EIA report, which printed a draw of 197 billion cubic feet. That's slightly smaller than market expectations of 200 billion cubic feet, but slightly larger than the five-year average for this time of year, which is around 185 billion cubic feet. This decreased surplus is from 142 billion cubic feet to 130 billion cubic feet and decreased supplies from 1.856 trillion cubic feet to 2.659 trillion cubic feet. Now remember, despite what I just read to you about where surpluses and supplies are, we still are in surplus. So price pressures came through in the natural gas contract.